What's up guys, Weather Wednesday, coming at you with another Raid Shadow Legends video. And today, the game has provided us even more bait. And again, I'm going to resist the urge, the temptation to fall for their little devices here. So we're going to talk about what's in the game today and why I don't recommend doing most of it. I mean, you can choose one thing to do, but I wouldn't choose to do most of it, except under certain circumstances. But first, but first, I have something exciting to show you guys. It is a late Father's Day present from my wife and kids. It arrived late in the mail, but I just got it yesterday. And I'll show it to you here. That's right, I got my very own Weiler Wednesday Funko Pop that they had created special for me. Now, Funko, I was I was super into Funko Pops like eight or ten years ago, like when they were really, really, really popular. I'm not sure how popular they are today. I still see them everywhere. So people must still be buying them, must still be collecting them. I don't collect them as much as I did, like I said, like eight years ago. I still have a bunch of them, but I don't display as many as I once did. Uh, but I, I thought this was really cool. Uh, I haven't decided yet if I want to leave it in the box or take it out of the box. So let me know what you think I should do with that. Everybody has their own opinions. Let me know if you have uh, collected any Funko Pops uh, in the past or if you still do that. But I thought that was really cool. But what is actually in the game? Well, first of all, there's still the extra legendary chance. I'm guessing that most people summoned yesterday if they were going to do this. And of course, this was bait. Of course, this was bait, and I told you it was bait, but I didn't know fully why it was bait. And the reason why it is, is because we have a double or a two times chance for getting legendaries from ancient shards over the weekend. Now, like I said, if you're close to mercy, this is a better time to pull because you just get to mercy and you get double legendaries. That's great. I saw plenty of videos where people were pulling 200 shards to get that double legendary which was kind of a waste in my opinion i mean especially especially if you're not sure that you're going to get to mercy now i'm at 46 ancient shards i don't even know if i'm going to summon this weekend because 46 shards is just not a lot i feel like we just had a 2x on ancients i feel like that's why i summoned before i could be wrong maybe it wasn't even a 2x Maybe I just summoned because I had to summon something. And, you know, so I only have 46 shards. I don't even know if it's worth it. Uh, I think I'm probably just going to save. Maybe they're going to have a guaranteed coming up someday. Uh, I'm not really close to anything like what I would need for a guaranteed either. Usually those are like 150 or 160 ancient shards. And like 110 or 120 void shards i'm clearly not close to any kind of guaranteed anything so i will probably hold off this weekend unless they actually give me a temptation worth pulling for now there's also a special event going on still today regarding pulling soul stones as you can see i've been doing a pretty good job of saving up with 70 mortals and 9 immortals, plus some coins there. And we'll take a look at the event. Or it's not even an event, it's a tournament. And if we look at the Soul Chase tournament, looks like quite a number of people uh, tried to at least get that top reward. Not a ton, not a ton of people are going for it. Personally, I just think it's too great of a risk that you're going to get absolutely nothing out of a soul chase tournament. Uh, maybe if you had some eternal soul stones to pull where you could guarantee that you're going to get some higher souls, 
But if you get, if you just pull a bunch of immortals, you're gonna get low souls. Probably you're gonna get a lot of one and two star, maybe some three stars, and you're not going to work your way up this ladder very quickly. For me personally, it's a skip. It's not worth it. It's too much of a gamble. And I would rather go for an event where you get points based on the type of soul that you pull. And then you just hope to get lucky with good souls anyway. And the other tournaments going on, there is still the Ice Column tournament going on where you have to use only epics. I saw a lot of creators actually recommend this tournament. And I understand where they're going from or where they're coming from, but what they don't seem to take into consideration is that most people are probably going to have to run this Ice Golem tournament on regular Ice Golem 20, maybe 25. And so you're not going to get the same kind of gear that you would get if you were running on hard 10. So I would rather run uh, for gear on hard 10 and I'm not as interested in reflex gear as they seem to be. I would use rather use Relentless in 90% of contexts. So to be farming for reflex gear when you don't even need a lot of it, it, it feels like a waste to me. But everybody has their own opinion. So I mean, you can go after the prism shards here if you really want, but it's going to use pretty much all of your energy for yesterday today and tomorrow and do you really want reflex gear that bad do you really want uh those prism crystals that bad if yes then go for it like i don't have a problem with it i was just was surprised at how many people uh felt like this was like a must do and it just felt like a waste of energy to me the sand devil attack turn attack is still going i finished this on day one because i wanted to get out of the way because uh, there was some soul stones available and I wanted to be ready for the soul chase tournament. And of course the soul chase tournament wasn't worth it. So I probably should have gone about that slower, but sometimes you take a risk. Some, I mean, this is kind of a gambling game. So you have to kind of take risks sometime and sometimes they pay off and sometimes they don't, but you know, it was fine for my account. Now, the big thing that everybody's talking about today is the champion training tournament coming tomorrow where you can get this guy if your account is leveled far enough. Korrigar Deathbell. Uh, if you are a lower level account, it looks like you can get Ugo or Maneater possibly. Uh, I think if you are an advanced account, I don't think Korrigar is that amazing of a champion that you're going to wail out for to try to beat you know 99 other players to uh have the best champion training tournament i think this is the biggest skip of them all i'd rather do ice golem tournament i'd rather do the soul chase tournament i'd rather do the sand devil turn attack this is the biggest bait of them all this champion training tournament for an okay champion I think he's just like an ally protector, like a good defensive champion. We can take a look at him real quick. I'm assuming he is either Ogren, Skinwalker, or something like that. Korgar, okay, he's an Ogren tribe. And yeah, he's got an ally protection, as I thought, and a strengthen turn meter heals champions like he's an okay champion but i mean if you were a newer player i'd rather have ugo i'd still rather have ugo i have two ugos built that i use for hydra every week and you know man eater if you're a new player of course he could be used for clan boss if you don't have a clan boss team now most players have a clan boss team but Newer players could absolutely use a man-eater. It took me a long time to get my first man-eater well after I needed him. I have two built that I never ever use other than if I'm desperate for like Curse City or something, but really I don't use my man-eaters. And Korrigar, honestly, I don't know if I would use him 
outside of Curse City. Um, some people like him in Hydra. I know that some people like Ally Protect in Hydra. It's not usually the route that I go. He's, I mean, he's just okay. I, I don't think I would even use him on my account. So I certainly wouldn't like wail out using all of my resources. Like just to, you know, if, unless you are like in a super, super competitive tournament, what's going to happen is you'll put up like 30,000 points and you think you're in the lead and then some Kraken comes along in the last half an hour and they use a bunch of brews and they use a bunch of skill books and a bunch of chickens and they just wipe you out in half an hour. They put up 50,000 points and you wasted all your resources. That is the absolute baitiest of bait tournaments in the game. And it's not even for a great champion. Like it made sense when it was Krisk. It made a lot less sense when it was Tatsu until months later, Tatsu became part of the Lady Mikage fusion, but Tatsu wasn't a great champion. So you have to decide, is Korgar worth expending all of your resources into a champ training tournament? Like this is not even a good time to do any champ training tournament. I save all of my resources for other times. I save all of my brews to make champ training easy during uh, fusions. I save all of my books to make CVC easy, personal CVC. I save all my books for that. I save all of my chickens. I save all of my brews as much as, as much as possible for fusions. I think it would be crazy to go after this champ training tournament, unless you are a Kraken that just wanted to fill out your Pokedex. Like, just like, oh, I don't have this champion. I'll add it to it. I will smash through everybody else is a terrible idea to go after that. Please don't go after that unless you are willing to completely blow up your account to do it. It's a bad idea. I can't advise against it more than that. And there's an artifact enhancement event going on tomorrow as well. I will probably do enough to get the rewards that I want. If they have uh, any kind of primal shard or primal quartz available, I will go for that. It doesn't look like they will have prism crystals or they would show it. If they have good soul stones available, I will probably go deep enough for that. But I am personally low on silver. So what I'm personally going to do is I'm working on my missions. So tonight at uh, reset, I will go after the Iron Twins Fortress on Spirit. And then I'm going to try to get 50 superior oils from Sand Devil's Necropolis. And then 50 superior extracts from Phantom Shogun's Grove. And then I need to get that done before magic comes back around. Right now it is... Wednesday and it is magic today so it will be magic not Thursday not Friday not Saturday but Sunday Sunday where I am Sunday evening so I I have a few days I'll have a few days after after today to get those oils so that's good uh, I was going after the Dungeon Divers event, just trying to get more silver from Spider, but trying to get my Marius missions is a high priority for me, so that's what I'm going after. So there's a lot of things to do in the game right now, in between fusions. I'm guessing that in about a week, we will start a new fusion. Maybe it'll be two weeks, but I'm guessing next week we'll start a fusion, so maybe in a couple days we'll hear what that fusion is 
But right now, I just think that it's a really smart idea to be careful with your resources. I know that they're throwing a lot of things at us that we could possibly do, but I don't think any of them are really worth going hard for. I think this is a good time, especially if you are free to play, to save your resources. Because the next fusion might be a can't miss. And you'll be really upset if you wasted all of your shards, uh, all of your, all of your, you know, everything, your, uh, your brews, your chickens. It, if you can't get the next fusion done, if it's an amazing, amazing fusion, maybe it'll be another stinker like the incarnate, but maybe it's the next newt. Maybe it's the next Armon, somebody that you can't skip. So they're throwing all this bait out to try to get you to waste your resources because they probably have something better coming where you're going to need those resources and they want you to spend money. So just think about that. Make your own choice. It's your own account. Do what you want. But just know that they're usually trying to bait you for a reason. Is it worth that gamble? Are you going to be that fish on the hook? Or are you going to be the fish that swims away and says, that looks a little suspicious. To me, this looks a little suspicious and I'm staying away from everything. I'm just focusing on my missions. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, we'll see. We'll see this weekend if there's a reason for me to pull my very few ancient shards. Probably not. Maybe. But I'm probably just going to hang tight. So that's what I'm going to do. That's why I advise people to do. But everybody has their own strategy. Everybody has their own opinion. Let me know yours in the comments. Let me know what you think about my Funko Pop. I will check you out in the next Raid Shadow Legends video. See ya.